In today's video, I want to show you how to install a case fan in your desktop PC. Here I have the Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop PC. It has some particularities for the installation of the fan. And I'm going to show you how to work around these particularities so that you can install this case fan. You have four things to consider for the installation of the case fan. First, the size of the fan. The second thing is where you're going to place the fan in your desktop. The third thing is the connector type of the fan. And the fourth thing is the fan mode. So either PWM or a constant speed fan. So first, for the size of the fan, if your case has a manual with it, just look at the case manual and it will tell you which kind or which size of fan you can install in your case. In my case here, the Dell doesn't come with instructions to install a case fan. So I simply measured here the width of the fan here and I found out that the fan that I should get is 80 millimeters fan. So there are many sizes. They are standard sizes, 80 millimeters, 92 millimeters, 120, 140, and I think other sizes too, but these are the most popular sizes. The second thing is where you wanna install the fan. So also here it depends on where in your desktop you can install the fan. Here in the Dell, it can be installed only on the back of the Dell here. So maybe you can see it better like this. So I'm gonna install it here because there are simply no other places in the Dell where you can install it. Now the third and fourth things are the connector type and the mode of the fan and they go hand in hand. First, let's start with the connector type that is 4-pin connector. For the 4-pin connector, this is connected to a fan called PWM, which is pulse width modulation fan. Simply put, the speed of the fan will vary depending on a pulse given by the force connector. So you should consult your motherboard to see if it supports these types of fans. For the Dell I'm using for this demonstration, it doesn't have a dedicated fan connector nor does it have a control for the speed of the fan. So I got a three pin fan, which is the Noctua NF-A8. So this fan has a steady speed, which is 1400 RPMs, but this fan also comes with an adapter. It's called a low noise adapter that reduces the speed of the fan to 1100 RPMs. And in some cases, some motherboards, even with a three pin connector, they can vary the voltage that goes to the three pins of the fan so that they can also vary the speed of it. I mentioned earlier the particularities of the Dell. So what it has particular is that it doesn't have a connection for the fan on the motherboard and the power supply that comes with the Dell, it's not this one, this one I installed before. If you wanna look at the video on how I installed this power supply in my Dell Inspiron 3671, you can take a look in the description. So the original one that comes with the Dell doesn't have like an external power to connect any case fan. So there is no straight way to connect the case fan in the Dell. So you have three options here. The first option is you can use an empty SATA cable like this one here, and you can get a cable that goes from the SATA and the three pin for the fan. Or the second option, you can also piggyback on the CPU fan connector and this is something that I don't like so you can get a Y connector and then you can connect the fan to it but this is something I don't like because I don't like to mess up with the CPU connector and the third option is if you change the power supply of your Dell you can simply get a fan like this one here so this one here this is a Noctua NFA8 I got it because it comes with a Molex connector, so you can simply connect the Molex connector to your power supply, to any Molex power supply here, so I'm going to connect it now. And then you can connect it to the fan. So this was for the Dell. Now, if you have a motherboard that has a dedicated connector for the fan, you can simply install a fan, a PWM fan, and connect it directly to the connector using the four pin that comes with it. But this is not my case here. So I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to connect this Noctua NFA8 fan. 
The Noctua fan has two methods to install it. Either you use these anti-vibration mounts or you use screws. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the screws to install it. I'm gonna remove first the cover, the front cover of the Dell. Just to be able to put it like this. And you see I'm gonna install the fan here. And now to install the fan, all fans have arrows. If they don't have arrows, just look in the manual of the fan to see how you should install it. So this arrow here is pointing outwards. So it should be installed like this so that it can draw the air because this is an exhaust fan. And this one is saying that once it draws the air, it pushes it like this. So I don't want to push it back to the computer. So it should be installed like this. So it can draw the air like this and then push it to the top. So it will be installed here, one, two, three, and four. And as I said for the arrows, it should be like this. So pointing out and up like this. So it should be installed like this. You can see it here. And simply now put the first screw always put the screws diagonally so I'm gonna put this one here first don't tighten it now too much just wait to the end to tighten all the screws together and tighten the screws so that it doesn't vibrate and you see now it is installed and now to connect it as I told you before so this one has an aftermarket PSU so I could install the Molex connectors and I want to mention it once again if you don't have an aftermarket PSU you won't have a way to connect this one here so what you can get is a SATA to three pin adapter I'm going to leave a link in the description to help you find this adapter. So simply any empty SATA connector here, you can put the adapter here and connect the fan. And now this fan comes with a low noise adapter also. So I'm going to first, so this is a low noise adapter. So I'm going to first try it without a low noise adapter, which will run at 1400 RPMs. And with the low noise adapter, it will run at 1100 RPMs. So if it is too noisy, I'm going to put the low noise adapter. But for now, I don't need it. So now I'm going to connect the fan to the Molex that I have on my aftermarket PSU. This is a Corsair TX650M, which is a great PSU. So this is here the three pin connector. And this is the Molex. So let me put it here. like this and here it is installed now it should run so I'm gonna hook the computer to a power output and see if it is very noisy so I'm gonna turn on the computer now so this is a fan turning I think you can see it and it's working great so I'm going to try it now with the low noise adapter. So this is the low noise adapter connected. I'm going to turn on the computer. And it's really now very, very quiet. So I'm going to leave the low noise adapter. It's better for me. My computer doesn't get very hot. So let me turn it off now. So now let me tidy up the cables. So these here, I'm going to put them in a zip tie. This here goes in a hook here like this. So now the cables are tidy. So I'm going to close the computer. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It will really help the channel. Thank you for watching.